I'm gonna be sharing with you some things that I picked up at the Vintage Market Days in here in San Antonio. I just got back this afternoon here, and my husband and I went out this morning. We had a little day date. We hit the McDonald's drive-through for breakfast, and we went on up to about Bernie area in just outside of San Antonio, and we hit up this Vintage Market Days. Now, I had seen a few YouTube videos of people sh showcasing this in other states, and then I got a Facebook ad that said, hey, there's a Vintage Market Days here. So I guess it happens in the spring and in the fall. And I could see the fall one being super enticing because they would have fall decor and probably Christmas, and I go a little ham at that time of year. So I thought I would t bring you along for today's video. Well, when I got there, they said no videography. And I'm like, really? Because I was gonna kind of show you around the different booths and stuff, but basically it's like all these different vendors. I think they had a hundred and, what they say, 175 different vendors, local vendors in the area. And so it was really fun. And so I thought I would share with you what I picked up. So the first vendor that I went to was literally the first place on the right when you walked in. And this caught my eye and it's a mini spire. And it looks like this. It's got a little bit of rustic quality to it. It has some, you know, rusting on it. But I've kind of, let me just zoom you in here a little bit so you can see. I've been trying to incorporate a little bit more French country, like a nod to French country within my style because I really like a rustic style at heart. I like things um, that look kind of lived in and worn but I also like the elegance that you get in the French country style. Let me just get my cats out of here because they are more curious than you probably are. But anyways, I thought this would be cute used in several different ways. I mean, really, I think the possibilities are kind of endless with a decor piece like this. I thought maybe I would put it over the top of maybe a candle or a make, make something in here. I don't know, but I just thought it was really cute. So super bummed that I couldn't bring you along because I had seen other YouTubers do that. And I feel like every time I attempt to do something like that, there's always a, a no. Um, but it was fine because then I was just able to conversate with my husband and kind of enjoy our little day date at the same time too. So I guess in that respect, it was okay. Okay, the next place that I went to is actually gonna be a project for my husband. Actually, he came up with the idea of what we're gonna do with these. Um, but this particular booth was uh, Reclaimed Fate is the name of the store. And so these are spindles. Spindles from, I believe, a bed frame. So there was kind of a bed frame disassembled there and she had the individual pieces and then she had like the main portion of the frame. But when I saw these, I was really attracted to the color and they're chippy and I love chippy. I love that these can be very elegant if you need them to be. So what we're going to do is we're gonna bore some holes in the top and turn these into candlestick holders. I have some tapered candles that I thought would look, some cream colored ones that I thought would look really pretty in here. And so that's what we're gonna do with these. And I, I don't know, I just thought that they were just kind of unique. My husband's like, what are you gonna do with those? <laughs> um, the first time we walked past the booth, because of course we walked the whole thing twice. And, because I like to do a drive-by, I like to just kind of check everything out and see what's going on and then go back and purchase. Because I chose to do that though, I did miss out on a couple things that I would have purchased, but whatever. It wasn't meant to be, right? So I just thought that these would be very beautiful with my existing decor. They might even look pretty in my bedroom here. So, pick those up. So I have a running list on my phone of things that I'm looking for, like vintage things, antique things, um, just things that I think of that I'd like to eventually incorporate into my decor. And so one of those was old books. Now, not just any old, old book, um, but books that give me a reason to purchase them. Maybe there's a person connected to them or a date or a time. Keep that in mind. Um, I found this Bible. First of all, I was looking for green books specifically because I love the color of the green. It just looks nice in my decor and it will match with a lot of existing things. But this Bible, first of all, on the front flap, because I always open it up to see if there's any notes. Someone in, let me zoom you in. Would you look at that beautiful handwriting? And do you see that date right there? Yeah, that says 1867. I was like, Yes, it says Mrs. Mary Helen Van Dyke, a present from her affectionate husband, um, who is John Van Dyke. And it's the New Testament American Bible Union, it says. 
And you guys, there are newspaper clippings all throughout this Bible that they must have clipped from the newspaper at the time. Now let me find them. It definitely smells old. Okay, so there's an obituary clipping in here. It's actually kind of sad. So there was a infant daughter, five months old, that had passed away. So that's kind of sad, but a little newspaper clipping there. And then there's another newspaper clipping of a man who wrote a poem to his wife who had passed on and they had printed that in a newspaper. And on the back, it says Indianapolis, Indiana. So we know this Bible at least traveled to Indianapolis at one point. And then there was a third clipping in here somewhere. But anyways, I knew that if I was gonna get some sort of old book, I wanted it to be tied to a story or a person. And this indeed is. And then at this particular booth, this one I think was called Ye Old Barn, the booth or something, but I really loved these books. I loved the kind of leaf, the leaf inscribing on there. Just really pretty and I love the color. It's like a beautiful celery or peridot, um, the August birthstone color, which is my birth month. Um, it had that on there. And then I also thought that it was interesting. There's almost like a bullet hole or something in them. I don't know, I just thought once again, they, there was history attached to this. And these books are also old from 1898 is what they say. And uh, yeah, that is old, but I loved the color of these. And then of course the beautiful side binding here. So those were kind of some neat old book finds. Okay, and then I saw this. This is from the Rusty Flame Candle Company and Home Mercantile. Um, so I picked out this cute little bird that I thought matched absolutely perfectly with this. So I might make him a little nice nest or moss bed and put him somewhere in my home. I just thought, well, that was meant to be. It matches absolutely perfectly. Super cute. And the last booth that I went to actually happens to be a store I've already visited several times over the last couple months, and it's called Mainly Vintage. And I love their booth. I just loved so many things that were going on there. Um, you had to hold me back. There was a lot of things that I really enjoyed, but I just, in this particular home, I don't have space or, I need more wall space. So I'm hoping the next place that we live has, you know, maybe a different setup where I can kind of shift my things around and let my creative ideas kind of come forth even more. Um, but I found this basket. And why I like this basket and it's different is that it's there's twigs, you know? So these, the outer part here, it actually is, someone had twisted up and, and made this basket. It's not something that looks like it came from Hobby Lobby or anything like that. It legit looks like someone had made it. And I love the real rusticness of that. I love things that look more unique, you know, and are just kind of handmade. I, I just really enjoy that. And the price, it was $12, which I thought that's a good price for a basket. Even like Hobby Lobby, you're probably gonna pay more than that. So I thought this was real cute. And this is something, oh, the juices are turning. I could put, I could make a really nice moss bed and I could make him a home this little birdie a home in here, like elevate him up in there. Oh, that would be cute. Oh, and then I could put the candlesticks next to it. See, I just created a vignette just like that. But, oh my gosh, that, that just works out perfect. I love when your, your ideas kind of all come together at once. So this was just a real quick video. I was hoping to take you along and give you more footage of what it was like. And hopefully if you have something like this, take it in in your area. It's called Vintage Market Days. I watched a couple videos from people in Alabama and theirs looked amazing. <laughs> like theirs was more my style than here. Here it's very um, Texan and that's not really my style, even though they did have some booths that were more French country and some that were a little bit more what I like, um, but a lot of things were very much of the area. And so check it out in your local area if you have one, because I think you will really enjoy it. So guys, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing some decorate with me videos. I have a couple rooms planned. Um, I have quite a few things planned actually. This was just kind of a spur of the moment video, but I thought you would enjoy seeing what I got. And I love just popping in during the week and saying hello to you. So welcome if you are new, and I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye guys.